Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you my other workshop. Sorry for the wobbly cam. Um, I am in the middle of turning all of this around, sorting it out. Um, but I'll show you a few bits. Behind me, framing, is my little Myford ML7 lathe. Uh, I used to have two up until about, I don't know, four hours ago. The other one sat there in that empty space. Um, I kept that one just because I needed the money, really. The other one had uh, the screw cutting gearbox, which lives yeah, right about there. Um, this one doesn't, but I don't cut imperial threads, so you know, it doesn't really make that much difference, I suppose. Uh, let's see, what else is in here? Turn you around. Storage cabinets, framing. Huge pile of stuff to go to the tip. Tools over there. There's pillar drill, the world's wobbliest bench grinder. It vibrates everything. Uh, what else have we got? A lawnmower. My MIG welder, which is an old Clark cassette. It's all right. It does okay. TIG welder. Yeah. That's brand new um, from Artec Welding. And hopefully, I'll do some videos of me learning how to TIG weld because I have. No clue. Uh, engine crane takes up a lot of space. It's been very useful a few times. Chair. Workbench currently covered in all of the crap that was with the other lathe. Another toolbox. Some garden implements. And down there, uh, frame, is a 390 FE Ford V8 um, that was originally going to go in the Cobra until I bought the 428 and had that built to 462 cubes. Uh, sitting on top of it though, is a set of individual throttle bodies, fuel injected, that I have a long-term plan of putting into the Cobra once it's built. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the tour of this garage um, workshop space. Hopefully I'll show you some more stuff. Uh, let's see, over there where that blue workbench is, that blue workbench is gonna move to where the lathe I just sold is, and there will go a welding bench, which is probably where I'll make most of my videos, at least of me learning to TIG weld and fab stuff. So yeah, kind of excited to get down here and start playing with the TIG welder again, but first I have to sort that out. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants to see videos of me shuffling through giant mounds of stuff that I've accumulated over 20 years. But, uh, but if you do, maybe I'll leave the camera running in the corner uh, on a tripod so it's not quite so wobbly. And yeah, you can all see that. So more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.